Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can in integrate Calendly with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log into our existing account. Once we are in here, at our workspace, we want to go to the top corner of our screen, next to uh, your account, help and click on integration. Straight away, you can see there's an icon of HubSpot, so we click on HubSpot and click on Connect HubSpot. Once we do that, we will basically try to connect uh, with our email, password and so on. And we can make this integration work like that. But we can also use help of third party app. We, uh, for example, uh, for example, automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we're in here, we want to go to integrations yet again, at the top corner of our screen. And once this pop-up window show up, slide down to the bottom left part and see all categories. Right now we can start. Uh, we can start addressing the first app, which is Calendly. Now we have to pick its counterpart, which will be HubSpot. Straight away we are greeted with multiple options for us that uh, we can go for in popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, we want to go with Calendly as our option. So pick from uh, one or another. On the opposite side underneath the actions, let's go with HubSpot. Uh, once we're done uh, with picking, click on Try It Now button and basically uh, all we have to do is log in or register to our automate.eo account. And we are, we are done with that integration. We can also use zapier.com, uh, which is very similar app to automate. And let's go to the top left side and create Zap. First, let's start with a trigger. And the trigger app, as you probably saw, thought it's Calendly. Trigger event. Let's go with this one. Now we have to log in to our account at Calendly. Continue. And now we can test our trigger between Calendly and Zapier. On the second action, as you probably thought, it's time for HubSpot. Like this, action event. Yet again, we have to pick manually. Continue. And the last thing is we have to sign into HubSpot. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.